Along the lake shore, a drunk driver will spend up to 45 years locked up for killing 19-year-old Curtis Jacobs as he rode his bike down a Holland area street. Today, Jacobs' family reacting after the punishment was handed down. I'm here at the live desk right now with 24-hour news aide Henry Erb, who has been following this story for us tonight. Well, so if Kevin Babcock's license had long been revoked, he already had four drunk driving cases against him, and he took 20 drinks just before he ran down two young men on bicycles at US 31 in Quincy outside of Holland last June. One of the young men died the next day, and his parents are still grieving. Curtis Jacobs was 19, a college student, an artist, a young man who could fix things, according to his mother, Lynn, and much more. Curtis was so polite. The first words he said to me when I got to the hospital after the accident were, thank you for coming. There he lay broken and full of blood, and his first thought was to be polite and care about others. Curtis died the next day. When his mother came home that day from the hospital, she found this bicycle. He repaired for her, a gift she didn't even know existed. His father today expressed some anger about the man who killed him, but said that mostly he is sad about the tragic loss to his family. For myself, I feel sad for the loss of a child who I coached in Little League Baseball, coached in Science Olympiad, and taught in the church cadet program. So bright, so smart, in college to learn, make something out of his life, and then someone snuffed out his life, selfish enough to enjoy 20 drinks of alcohol the night before. Babcock later told the judge that he had been active in Alcoholics Anonymous and thought he had control over his drinking. I don't expect you to ever forgive me. I don't feel I deserve it. But I am truly sorry, and this is from my heart and from my soul, for all the loss and pain I've caused you. Kevin Babcock's 20 to 45 year prison sentence follows his no contest plea to second degree murder, drunk driving, and driving without a license causing death, failing to stop, and being an habitual offender. Back to you. Henry, thank you.